Welcome to Marty's Toy Box, where we discuss, unbox, and review wrestling memorabilia. For today's video, we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Triple H Ultimate Edition action figure. When you open it up, you see probably one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, Triple H, with three different heads, as you can see. Let's get this a close-up. You guys will get a close-up of all the heads when they are taken out of the package, but for now... We're going to just be looking at the box. It even comes with a water bottle. You know how cool it is? And it comes with the title, the sledgehammer, and the water bottle. The water bottle is such a cool add-on. Everything is out of the box. It's very odd. And you have to test all of these in all different possibilities to see which one you like the best. Um, for the sake of the video, we're only going to be testing with a different pair of hands looks like and a different pair of heads because every combination of everything here would just take way too long. But going down here, you have his entrance gear. This little just goes over his head and you have this cap right here. Oh, whoops, you have this cap right here. Then you have my, this belt right here, very small. But for how small it is, the detail on this is absolutely phenomenal. I don't get how you can do this with such a small belt and get every detail in there. Whoever did this, whoever manufactured these, it must have taken them forever. But man, it is worth it for the seeing this end result. And you go over here, you do have a sledgehammer. Um, I've had figures with uh, sledgehammers before, and I don't remember the sledgehammers feeling like this. Um, this feels like a newer quality. I haven't really unboxed or gotten into action figures in a while, but I'm getting back into them, and this is where we first are starting off. But this one feels very different, and also it's very long, as you can see, compared to the figure. It's as tall as his leg, and his leg is like as big as my finger. So the sledgehammer is definitely extra long. And then the water bottle. If you look at this in the light, it looks like it's an actual water bottle from what it is. Um, there is no wrapping on it because they always get into like brand problems. But yeah, the cap, you have everything. This looks so real, and it's so cool how they added it into this Triple H figure. So first off, we are going to switch out and try this head with this pair of hands. All right, so we did switch out the heads and arms. And as you can see, this head right here, we have a more of a younger, classic looking Triple H. Um, but the attire on him is attires that he does wear today. And his attire is very basic. It's just his H is H on the front and on the back. Um, his hands, he just wears white um, wrist straps and stuff. And then he wears black armbands. Um, this definitely gives you a throwback feel um, to Triple H because this heel is very, very young in this compared to this head. This one is more of an older one who just even looks more mature and the beard started to be grown out. And it was starting to grow out in this one as well. But I just feel this one looks a lot younger compared to this head right here. Those of you who are wondering, this is what he looks like with all of his accessories put on. He has a water bottle in his hand as you can see still i love this water bottle so much it's very cool they added that the excessively long sledgehammer um his cap and his um thing that he wore over his body um what i don't like about this though is it doesn't really go down his hair and just how it is made it just pushes it back up and then of course you do have the beautiful beautiful belt um, the one complaint I do have about these belts, it is very, very hard to get it to snap on and stay in. I had to flip it over and then do it that way, then flip it back over. But, man, this Ultimate Edition is such a beautiful figure. Definitely one that I'm very, very stoked to have in my collection. Now, for the final um, trade-out, I guess you could call it, um, accessories, this is him with a screaming face. Um, I don't really know why they added this in the Ultimate Edition. I guess if you were going to do a Snap series, you could have him walk out with this head. And then you can have him start yelling and stuff. And then for the match, you can have this face on. That's more of a fighting sort of face. Um, but anyways, this figure and all of his accessories is an amazing, amazing deal for the low price you pay of it. Mattel is definitely changing the world today with her Ultimate Edition, their um, Legends Edition, their all everything they're doing is just changing the business for action figures. There was like okay, this classic Superstar Stone Cold was probably the closest thing you have to the Ultimate Edition here because the Stone Cold one 
did have six titles, a interchangeable shirt, but not the heads. I think Mattel is the first one to do the interchangeable heads for the WWE or WWF action figures. This figure is beautiful, and this is definitely one you should pick up. Um, I don't really know if you can find it in your Walmart anymore. Um, you might have to order it um, online from websites, maybe even eBay. Um, but I'm very happy I got this when I did get this. Anyways, I hope you all did enjoy, and I will see you guys next time.